Hi you guys, hey. welcome back to the channel. We are actually on our way to do a hospital tour. If it seems kind of dark, that's because it is because it's nighttime. So they get dark so quick. <laughs> it gets dark so quickly. So depressing. And it's about seven o'clock. Seven, yeah, about seven o'clock right now. And it's cold outside. And it's freezing. And the tour is at seven thirty. So we are going to go there and cross our fingers to see how it is because right now I am thirty-two weeks and five days. We're I'm, almost at 33 weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So right now it looks like we have the potential to have any option we want so far. Fingers crossed because she's been tripping. We decided to do another hospital tour with the closest one near us because they don't accept babies until about 37 weeks just like the birthing center. I got high expectations. So I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. So. We do. So uh, I should go ahead and make a video out of this and see how we compare all our options now. So it's pretty exciting to see this hospital. So let's just see how it goes. All right. All right, let's go. Before we be late, child. <laughs> Bye. Y'all can't see it, child, but yeah. yeah. It's a doors lock at 8 p.m. They ain't trying to see nobody. Is this even main entrance? Yeah. Or is this office entrance over there? A little tired, but I'm good. I'm ready to drop her off. <laughs> I'm ready to have this baby. Are you gonna have your baby here? Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, if I can make it that far, I'm high risk, so I have well, to see. Let's get you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Because I think they said they don't take people until like 37 weeks or something like that. So yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Cause uh, they don't have to nick you. I, I'm 33, about 33 right now, so. <laughs> as much as possible. So everything's looking good so far. So if everything goes good, then I'll know like I can come straight here. Right, thank you. You're welcome. You can sit anywhere out here you need to. They'll be down shortly. And there's a restroom in there if you need Okay, thank you. Oh, Joffrey's. They got Joffrey's coffee in here? I don't know about Joffrey's. I do. Oh, it's more of a cafeteria in here. It was a little better in here than the last year. What was that, jerk chicken? Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper chicken. And that is baked red fish. And then, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, yeah. Green beans, that's mushrooms and potatoes. Cheeseburger. Way better than <laughs> I know. We got fries. Yeah, mozzarella. Mozzarella. The wings actually look good. We got the salad bar. Then they got this is salad bar too. Babe, they got fa. They got fa. They got fa. Oh, they got fa. <laughs> so they're hiding the same. They got Vietnamese. Noodles. Oh yeah, they're doing ten times better. Wow, doing ten times better no. than the first one. And they got um, they got ten salad. <laughs> they got pho. They got stuff you can buy in here. 
Lord, so far this already looking better. They got a big cafeteria, so you ain't got much to worry about. Desserts. Lord. That don't make no sense. Uh, how much more stuff they have than the other one. At least you can. It looks like they have breakfast. Look. Chicken tennis salad. Because they got the waffle machine. Yeah, they got cereal on the other side. Bread. That don't make no sense. Oh, I ain't look at them. They got ice cream. That don't make no sense. Look at this. What the next one? Huh? That's me. I don't know what that is. It says, I don't know, shrimp or beef chicken. I don't know what that is. Is that chicken? Oh, it's chicken. Uh, to put on the fox. Gotcha. Oh, it's chicken, so this is beef. You'll open it up on the fox. That's not bad. It's seven dollars. Yeah. It's not bad. Ooh, the bar. Oh yeah, they doing way better. I know. <laughs> that don't make no sense. No sense at all. So that's the cafe, you guys. <laughs> way better than the other one. <laughs> they got real food in there. I know. So, so far it gives more of a hotel vibe than it does a hospital. Yeah, it don't smell like a hospital. And you know, that's what the problem was in a hospital. It smells like a hotel. Granted, because this is a new hospital, it's not old, so you just seen the cafe. The cafe is a dozen times better. Leaps and bounds. They got fire. I can come here just to get fire and cheaper. Yes, yes. yes. You ready? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I already got to get up and go. On the second day after delivery, um, a photographer will come to the room and ask if you want to do pictures. If you do the pictures, you're not like stuck buying anything. But just by doing the pictures, you get a free 8 by 10. So, I like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. So this is our waiting room. So if you have a lot of family and you want to keep them out of the room for a little while or anything, this is where they can hang out and watch TV or whatever. Also, if you get an epidural um, or you have a C-section, you can only have one person in the room for those two things. And so then, that would be a time where all your other family could come hang out here, okay? Um, the doors are open between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. So if you come between those hours, then you can just go to the front desk and say, hey, I'm in labor or whatever your thing is. And they'll call us in labor delivery and have us come. Um, we don't currently have a NICU here. Um, it's being built with our new building in the back. But um, since we don't currently have it, if you're less than 35 weeks, if you think you're in labor and you can make it to another hospital, we do recommend it just because less than 35 weeks, typically those babies go to the NICU even if it's just for a few hours. Like they just want to check them over real good. So um, so try to make it somewhere else. But of course, if, if the baby's coming out, then just come here and we can stabilize you. We have a neonatologist in-house at all times, which is the physician that works at the NICU. So we know how to take care of the baby. We just don't have like the facility to keep them, okay? I'm Caitlin, by the way. Totally correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, so both labor and delivery and mom baby are locked units. So moms, you won't have an issue with this because we take you the back way. But dads or any family members that are coming in and out, they'll have to push this button here. And we can see them from the other side of the door. And um, they just say who they're here to see, and then we buzz them in. <laughs> Yeah. What we mm -hmm. Still doesn't smell like a hospital. Mm -mm. Oh. This is one of our triage rooms. 
So if you end up with a, if you have a scheduled induction or a scheduled C-section, then you won't come to this room, you'll just go straight to a labor room. But um, if you come in thinking you're in labor, thinking your water broke, anything like that, then you'll come here. Okay. And you're usually only here for a couple hours, just while we kind of like assess you and see what's going on. Um, we'll hook you up to the monitors, there's TV. Um, the TVs in all of our rooms have, um, they kind of double as a TV and a computer, so you can like, like your Facebook or whatever, and watch TV. Has a bunch of movies on it, games, that kind of stuff. Um, so while you're in here, we hook you up to the monitor, but if you want to be up walking around, we also have portable monitors that we can hook you to. If you don't want to be stuck in the bed, then that's an option. Okay. And all of the rooms have a private bathroom. The triage rooms um, don't have a tub or a shower, but you're only here for a couple hours. So. <laughs> and from here, um, you'll either move to a labor room or be sent home depending on your condition. You must be of a tree. <laughs> to recover afterwards before moving upstairs to mom baby. All of them, of course, have a bathroom. You want to open it? I'm always stashing the chairs in here. Um, so the rooms do have showers, but they all have a like a pull-down bench that you can sit on and a uh, handheld shower head. Sorry, let me squeeze oh, past you. <laughs> Um, so we do 60 second delayed cord clamping here. So once baby comes out, we wait 60 seconds for the cord to pulsate, give baby all that extra um, boost of your nice blood. And then uh, we clamp the cord, let whoever cut it, whoever is planning on cutting it, and then it'll go directly up on a mom's chest. So um, accommodations for dad or whoever is gonna be here. <laughs> this pulls down like this. Making a bed. And then this um, reclines and moves. It has wheels too, so you can move it over next to the bed and stuff like that also. Mm. Questions? Okay. <laughs> so this is a cub. So we have all different toys for while you're in labor. So this is a squat bar. That's a cub. And then behind you there is a peanut ball. And so basically they're just different things. And then there's a birthing ball. So baby will stay with you the whole time. Um, baby never leaves the room just goes to the warmer right there, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not great, it but it's if, okay. it's, if it's, it's okay, is what I heard. Well, like, yeah. But if it's too comfortable, then the dad's sleep the whole time. Yeah. So you have to make it like... Trust you know, me, right. he won't. <laughs> <laughs> he won't. He doesn't mess for him. It's a yes. lot of space in this room. You could do like laps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can do laps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't let us get lost. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you do this? All right, cool. Do you guys still do, uh, do the 12 hours of private time here? Yeah. So, um, so once you get moved up here, like I said, you re recover for a couple hours downstairs after delivery and then you move up here. The first 12 hours are quiet time, so that's just bonding time. The only people that will come in your room are um, your nurse, because we have to check on you sometimes, a tech just to do your vital signs, and they might bring your food in, like your food tray, when you order food. But other than that, nobody will come in uh, for those first 12 hours just to give you a break. and. Mm -hmm. Um, after those 12 hours, which is usually that second day, 
that's when like birth certificate comes, the hearing screen people, the photography people, all that kind of thing. Yeah, all day, exactly. Um, we can give you a list of all the pediatricians, yeah. but we can't like recommend one. Okay. Regardless of who you pick, um, they don't come here. There's only one pediatrician that comes here to see her own babies. Um, so while your baby's here, it'll, they'll be seen by the neonatologist. Which, I mean, the neonatologist is a doctor for newborn babies. So that, and that's their specialty, that's what they do. So I feel like they're pretty well qualified to check on a newborn baby. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but you will need to pick out a pediatrician before you, cut, before you get here, because the, um, the medical It needs to get sent off to the pediatrician. Then you don't hear results for a couple of weeks. So we need to know what pediatrician the results can be sent to. So so all the necessities are taken care of. So just bring like the cute stuff, the cute outfits that you want to see baby in, stuff like that. I love the postpartum and all that. Not really. Like I mean we're gonna give you the pads, the sexy mesh underwear mm. and all that good stuff. So whatever you wanna wear is basically if you don't want to wear the gown, obviously you'll have to put the hospital gown. But if you don't want to wear that, you can bring something comfy to wear. Oh, and then for say, baby, do you have to wear that? No. No. Yeah. No. Especially when you walk in. Yeah. 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 You're like, yeah the whole time, you're like yeah. this. Yeah. Trying not to move people. people. I was not yeah. walking around with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those things pop off and you're right. ruining people and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I hate it's those things. Cute. Oh, the other thing I was going to say is down in labor and delivery, we don't have, a lot of hospitals have like a limit on how many people you can have in the room. Mm -hmm. Um, during labor and for delivery, we don't have any rules on that. Okay. So, um, so whoever you want to have in the room is is okay. And also age, we don't have an age requirement. So, whatever age, um, if if there are children, there just has to be another adult mm -hmm. there to watch. Right. Am I getting left? Yeah, if y'all can't tell, it's freezing cold. Hopefully, I got good fit, but that had to been the most chill hospital I've ever been to in my in, life. In my life. <laughs> like they know their stuff, but they ain't worried about a thing. And then no, it's kind of like whatever you want to do. It's kind of like what I wanted the the birthing center. That's what I was going to the birthing center for, for the experience. Like I want to be able to like if I want to scent the candles or I wanted this or. They have all that in there. Yeah. It's a real chill environment. It makes you feel, you know, relaxed. relaxed and, you know, you got this and everything. And they got like better furniture. Oh yeah, furniture A1. Yeah. Everything brand new. <laughs> everything new, everything got big windows yeah. everywhere. And if we go to this one, she said I can film the burning class, so. Um, and she said we can film the whole labor and delivery only until the doctor comes in. Yeah, I think the other one said that too, but I feel like they were a little bit more like like fighting it. Yeah, yeah. but I feel like with this, I might even be able to catch the baby coming out if it's like discreet enough. Yeah, I might be able to do it. It's like it felt so much more like exciting. Mm -hmm. it feels like I'm happy to be here. Like this. It's a good hospital. It feels homey. Don't smell like a hospital once again. Mm -hmm. If y'all hear, because I, I try not to film her at all, because I ain't get consent or whatever, but I just kind of like left it on me. But if you hear how she was talking and everything like that, it was very like, yeah, oh yeah. And then the biggest one, the biggest thing, you can have whoever you want in your room. They don't care. You know how big of a deal that is? As many as you want and whoever you want. Yeah, and then the visitation hours, there's no hours. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like... Don't get it twisted. They got security and everything, but, you know. Yeah, it's not careless, but it's kind of like... It's so, like... They give you a lot of freedom. Freedom. Yeah, we'll talk about more when we get at home. Sorry, the camera died. But like we were saying, like they had the handheld shower thing so you can really direct wherever like my pain would be at. Tell you don't have to stay in the robe the whole time. So. 
or the gown yeah the hospital they gown. said i can labor in whatever outfit i want to labor in i'm not obligated to wear that thing um i'm really not obligated to do anything um it's just whatever i want to do and that's really what i want they have their own scented candles or diffusers and mm -hmm. essential oils and stuff that's already in the room so i really don't have to bring that i probably just got to bring like the little music thing but they was like you can play music you have the lights off there's music on the tv yeah but just in case if you want to do both yeah but um you can have the lights off the whole time and stuff it's just like really up to you and that's really all, the, what i wanted i think they had dimming dimming lights too yeah they had dimming lights and they had a little sink and everything in there in that area or whatnot only thing that was missing is a microwave chat <laughs> that was really the only thing but the cafeteria wasn't that far away so you no, just the used cafeteria, that y'all gonna see what the cafeteria looks like but um yeah it was really nice so it's like if i want to do medication i can if i don't want to i don't have to i have everything in both areas and the fact that in this case i'm not going to get kicked out two to five hours later yeah. versus you know we know for a fact we're going to be there at least two days you yeah. know what i'm saying so in this case it's like they're gonna get let you relax and do whatever you got to do but we had actually signed up for their birthing classes i know that we are signed up for the birthing center of the two classes and i still like the idea of going to that birthing class the best way i can explain it i feel like there's a little bit of bias in everyone's presentation yeah, yeah. so you get to learn about each specific place and how they do things and how they feel about things mm -hmm. so there's information that this person will share that this person won't so i feel like being that we have one toured all these places so like i said we decided to go to this birthing class too so that we'll have specific information to this hospital yeah but i feel like this hospital is going to give us the birthing the birthing experience we deserve i feel like you know it's new hospitals everything is chill and relaxed it feels like they're catering to you and that's what i wanted the most so and they even got a little you know couch bed for me <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the best but you know it's better than the other the, what the, the other chair. hospital had now i do think there's a chance i'm not gonna totally throw the other hospital on the bus i do think there's a chance that they will have some of the same stuff it's just that we didn't see it during the tour we didn't see it during the tour and two i think it could be a hit and miss uh we know for a fact for the other hospital that we know what food looks like and it don't look good mm -hmm. we know that for a fact and i i don't like the energy uh because all this is is energy uh, labor and delivery is energy based like mental it's a lot of physical too but a lot of it's mental and i just didn't like the idea of feeling like he wasn't equally as important as me and he's equally involved that's the reason why with the whole like even with baby shower or whatever like he's important too because he is going to be the father too so it's like there's no you me. better speak on it <laughs> I'm not the only one having a baby. We're having a baby together. We're pregnant. So we are pregnant. We are one. We're doing this together. So he deserves to be equally involved as me. Like we're getting the presents, not me. Our child is. So that's just the way it is. So I wanted him to get the same, I guess, services as I would be getting, even if I'm not around, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I honestly say like this is just the route I think we should go the fact that i feel like i'm getting everything in one spot yeah. is is like hands down like of course like i made my decision and that's how it is now it's up to her <laughs> what she want to do but um i believe hey she talked to you <laughs> that <laughs> we're gonna make it to at least 35 weeks and that we can get the experience that we want so now at this point is focusing on baby shower and after that is uh really focusing our energy on being at peace and at rest and being happy about seeing our baby girl we'll be nesting yes definitely him because he's been nesting <laughs> He's definitely been nesting what? for the past like two and a half weeks. Like what? he's been nesting so much. Like he's been taking care of me. Yeah. And he's been cleaning up after me mm -hmm. a lot. You know, you did before, but now it's like 
Oh, I, I noticed. You know, I try to be there for you. Yeah, so he's really been taking care. So now it's like, I'm glad that he's happy. And I feel better about it. And we're just going to be ready to meet our baby girl. So we did enough rambling, child. Tell us what you think about the hospital. Yeah, let us know what you, that's a good question. Yeah. Let us know out of all the places, which one you like the best. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about this one that... Um, I know that we're happy and we're pretty secure in our decision, but you know, we just want to hear what you think about it as well. Maybe that maybe we're on a honeymoon high and we're missing something, you know? So <laughs> yeah, just let us know. But, um, until next time, uh, if you haven't already, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Alrighty. All right. Bye.